Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm working with Sketch 26 of the Sketch Support Series by Allison Davis for Scrapbook Generation. Okay, so Sketch 26 is a one-page sketch uh, with one 4x6 photo on it, and I have chosen this photo of my granddaughter and her nana and I am going to use this collection called Little Princess by Simple Stories and it is from 2019 and it reflects the photo I want to scrapbook because right from day one Nana called uh, Little Emmy her uh, My Little Princess so it's the perfect collection for this photo and <clears throat> For my background, I'm going to start with just a white textured cardstock from American Crafts and see where I can go from there. So I think I'm going to probably stick pretty close to the sketch. I'm just going to pause the camera here and cut some papers and then I will be back um, to finish off the layout. Okay, so for this video, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I usually put all the papers on and then um, show the embellishment part of the um, putting together of the layout. But for today, I thought I would talk to you about how I picked my papers and um, what made me decide that and then um, go from there. So um, I this is a really cute little collection. It's got simple stories. Um, does always does a good job but this one has a lot of cute little like icons I love the two by two squares I think I'm going to use some of these for embellishing so I'll put them with my sticker sheet and then there's this one isn't that a beautiful like rainbow ombre so pretty and then it's got these border strips on the back the swans and then this like um, royal pattern uh, in pink and then it's got these sweet little cloud pattern with the little hearts in the clouds. So precious. And this pink dot on the back. And then we got the 3 by 4 cards. I think I might use um, one of these for my title. We shall see. Um, and then uh, on the back is this like, I don't know what to call that, damask pattern. And then the 4 by 4 cards, which are super cute and the little frog prints with some hearts that's so sweet uh, i also thought about using this one for my title we shall see i haven't quite decided yet um, or maybe this one was the other one i was looking at and then on the back is this cute floral and um, those are the ones i did not pick but i did look through all of them and i am going to take so for this piece of paper on the left, I have decided I'm going to take this like blue, uh, it's not stars, it's like a diamond dot kind of pattern. I don't know if you can really pick that up on the camera, but, and then on the back is this floral, but I'm going to use this side. And then on this right hand side for this piece here, I'm going to go with this like princess um, icon sheet because I feel like it really gives the mood and feel of what I want to say here. And then on the back is this other cute floral. So there's quite a few florals in the little collection, hey? And then to back my photo, I'm going to use this um, damask uh, turquoise pattern. And on the back is another floral. So if you didn't want to use this for princess stuff, I mean, there's lots of other options. This is also has a floral, a navy floral on the back, which is super cute. And I'm going to use a strip of this. And I'm not going to measure it the way they did here. I'm just going to like pick two lines of text. And that's going to be my strip that goes behind the photo. And then on the back of that um, two by two one that I'm going to use with, uh, for some embellishing, I'm going to use this stripe for the stripe strip here on the bottom. So I'm going to set those aside for now. And the reason I picked these ones is because, oh, hang on. So for behind my photo, I wanted something that wasn't exactly the same color as what's in the photo, but it, it complements the photo. 
and also I wanted it to stand out from the white background. Okay, so I didn't want anything like if I were to choose, say, a, mm, I don't know, something like this, it might blend in a little bit too much with the white background and not give definition to the photo because I really want the photo to stand out. Um, like I said, with this one, I chose this paper because I, I feel like it gives the mood and feel of princess. So I'm going to use that one. And this one, um, I wanted something a little bit more subtle than this, but also with a pattern um, to be opposite that so that they, um, it's going to be, this is where the title's going to go. So I want my attention to be kind of more on this side. And this is just a compliment to what's here. So it's the same colors. It's pretty paper. It complements what's here. And I don't know if you can see on the backgrounds, the background of this princess icon paper also has um, those diamonds kind of in the background. So um, they complement each other very well, right? So that's my thinking behind that. Um, also, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I love to ink the edges of everything. So for that, I've chosen um, Tattered Rose to go uh, ink this paper. Uh, Peacock Feathers uh, Distress Ink for that one and tumbled glass for that one and I just like to ink the edges I feel like it just gives it a little bit of definition without being too obvious um, and often I'll just pick like one neutral color but because of how colorful this is I, the only neutral I really felt like um, went with it really was either gray or navy and I didn't want to go with the gray because I felt like that would dull down what I was trying to accomplish here with the mood and feel. And I thought the navy would be too dark and harsh against these like soft baby papers. So I just decided to go with the colors and it's not a big deal. I just pulled out some, I only have like two of these and two of these, but it's enough to get through a layout, right? Um, what else can I tell ya? I think that's it for now. So I'm going to cut the papers basically just like it says. So on the sketch support um, series, when you print their free sketches, so all of these are free and Allison does major tutorials on her web, uh, website, on her YouTube channel. And she also does blog posts, extensive blog posts. And so it's almost like for me, this is a free class and every month she does a new one. I think the new one should be coming this week, the new blog posts. So be sure to check those out. She also has a Facebook group where you can share your version of it. And it's kind of neat to see other people's takes on it. Sometimes gives me an idea for a second layout. Although this is the first layout I've done the entire month of June and today I don't know when I'm gonna post this video, but today is June 25th. So I haven't gotten to scrapbooking this month. It's just been um, a wild ride. So here we are, but um, yeah, so this is, this is what I have decided and why. So I'm just gonna go with um, what it actually says. So on their free sketches when you print and also in their class sketches, I've done some of their classes too. Um, it actually tells you like what the actual measurements are, which I really love, especially on a day like today where I haven't scrapbooked in probably a month. I'm tired. I attended a funeral today. I'm not in really the mood to scrapbook. I just feel like I need to do something for myself and this is where I decided to head. So here we are. I'm just going to go ahead and take this sketch and the perfect thing about it is all I really had to do was you know, pick a four by six photo already printed, easy, because that's how I print my photos when I batch print them. Grabbed one. Um, I knew that that photo I wanted with this paper. I bought this paper specifically because Nana calls Emmy Little Princess, her little princess. And so I, I will probably do more layouts of Nana and Emmy using the princess line. And so that's why I bought these papers was for that specific purpose. So it was really easy for me to put together that photo, this collection pack, grab a white piece of cardstock, and then they make it so easy for me to get started, right? And probably once I do a layout and I'm finished a layout, I'll probably want to scrapbook another layout because this, this is like my, 
get back into it. I've lost my mojo, but I'm gonna do this, right? So the thing I love about it is it tells me exactly background pieces. The one on the left over here is two by six and a half and on the right is five by six and a half. I don't have to think about it. I just have to cut it. I can choose to round the corners if I'd like. I can choose to not round the corners if I like, but I don't have to think so hard about where's my title gonna go? What size do I wanna cut these papers? It's, it's not even like just a sketch. It's like literally got all the measurements right here for me. So I am going to pause the camera, cut my papers, ink the edges, glue them down, and then I will come back and do a little explanation of how and why I chose the embellishments and the title. And I think this might be a title card instead of some journaling. I don't know yet, but we're gonna see, okay? So hang on and I'll be right back. Okay, so disclaimer. I've tried to record this part of the video several times and uh, my son and his friends are playing spike ball outside and every time one of them comes in, the dog barks. So if the dog barks, I apologize. I'll try to cut it out, but I don't really want to restart again. We're losing daylight over here. Okay, so this is how far I've gotten. So I did my uh, paper cutting and gluing because that's boring. Nobody wants to watch that. And then I was going to use a, um, what are these called? Cut apart card for my title. I'm just going to put it like right here, but I didn't like how much it took up and it didn't really say exactly what I wanted it to say. So I kind of changed my mind and I went looking for some alphas, but because I wanted this title to be Nana's Little Princess, I needed, first of all, for the font to be kind of smallish. And I also um, wanted it to stand out um, on not just the white cardstock, but also on the patterned paper. So I went for these chipboard alphas. They are called Here and There Chipboard Letter Stickers from American Crafts. And I don't think there's a date or anything, but these are old. I think I got them. Ugh, I want to say like five years ago or so and they were probably old then and yeah so I um, got all the letters on there I kind of drew a little apostrophe here for Nana's because grammar and such um, and then I um, lined them up and glued them all down how I wanted them because I thought that's a very boring thing for you to watch and because it, there's so many of them. <laughs> so that's all done, that's all glued down. And then I, what else did I do? I, I think that was as far as I got. Okay, and then I also typed up my journaling and picked some embellishments ahead of time. So one of the, uh, I'm just gonna get this out of my way. One of the other things that I did was I went to my, cut apart sheet, my two by two cut aparts. So this sheet, and I punched a couple of embellishments. So I got, um, instead of just cutting them two by two, I took a one and three quarters punch, and pun actually it was this way, and punched these out to make two circle embellishments. So remember not to let the shape of the cut aparts um, define you because you can make them whatever shape you want. So I punched these ones into circles because they're two by two. I chose a 1.75 or one and three quarters punch um, so that it would fit inside. And then I also used this one that came off with this circle in order to punch. Um, I, and I fussy cut the floral that was in there. So that's where I got. Um, so this embellishment and this embellishment and this embellishment, okay, was for my two, my cut apart cards. I didn't actually buy the die cut pack for this because I couldn't find it. I didn't buy this one in 2019 when it came out. I bought it recently so that I could scrapbook these pictures of Amelia and her Nana. So I um, also decided to use this princess sticker and I just threw some um, fun foam on the back. Um, I just had some scraps in my drawer. 
um, from a previous project and that's what I went with. So I am just going to tack down this, um, this little circle piece and I'm just going to tuck it underneath my um, uh, alphabets so that it just kind of um, kind of nestles in there. And I did have to lift up these ones to get them in there, so I'll probably add some. Um, this is just scotch tacky glue in a fine line bottle. And so I'll probably just need to tack those back down, especially this one. It came, <laughs> when I picked it up, like the, literally the whole thing came off. I was like, oh, I just wanted the corner of that. But anyway, that's how it went down. So there we go. And I just don't like to leave the, glue, the lid off of that because it dries up. So then I will, so I got that down. I'm going to put my little princess on. So the reason I like fun foam with stickers is because one side is already has adhesive, this side that I'm peeling the adhesive strips off, and the other side is not sticky. So when I stick it onto a sticker, I don't have to add any adhesive to it. Yeah. So there we go. Our little princess is on there. Now... Um, I'll be honest, when I first was looking at this and I had the plan to tuck the, uh, the uh, cut apart card in here, I was like, well, the cut apart card will separate the, you know, the lines from this paper to this paper because it's, it's kind of the same. This is not white white. It's as you can probably see on this side, it's not the same white as the background. It's more this pinkish kind of color, but not the same pink as this one. So it kind of bothered me that they were so close together and made it look weird. But then I, I was like, well, I don't like that, so I was going to add a border here, but I changed my mind because I decided I'm just going to type my journaling up. Now my dog's scratching up my door because, you know, he just can't quit today. Um, and so I'm going to, that's where my journaling is going to go. So I typed up my journaling to fit where I wanted it. And I just have this um, piece of cardstock on here covering up Nana's name because um, on the first page of the babies with all of their um, relatives. I like to put the person's first and last name and then how they're related. So it says, Amelia met her Nana, maternal grandma, and then it has her name, when she came home from the hospital. And Nana beamed with pride at her first granddaughter and immediately began referring to her as Nana's little princess. So I do like to try to incorporate something from my journaling into my title, but it doesn't always work that way, especially with pre-made titles. I don't work too hard. <laughs> I don't work too hard for that. Um, okay, and then I just was going to tack this down as is. How did I have this before? I don't even really remember. I think it was this way. There we go. And I was debating popping this one up because I just so I have something popped up here, so I kind of want something popped up here. Do I have any of that same fun foam left? No. Not a whole lot, but I do have, like in little bits, but I do have like the sheet of it still. So I will just cut a piece of the scraps and stick it on there. And this is where when you use fun foam, you have to have a second adhesive, right? Um, and I don't mind using the glue. I just like using the stickers better. And I, I usually only use it when it's like a big thing, but I do have some scraps of it. So there we go. And I want them to be the same height. I don't want to use a different, uh, a different, um, foam because I don't want it to be different heights. So there we have it. And then I was going to grab my sticker sheet. Where is my sticker sheet? Here. And I was going to pick a couple of things um, like this little tiara I thought might be cute. I'm going to put it right here. And what else could we put on here? Um, maybe this little bow could go somewhere. That's kind of cute. Hey, okay. and what else? Mm. 
there was something else I wanted on here now I can't remember what it was oh I wanted this little rose to come up the side of here that's what it was there we go oh my gosh I am so sorry for my dog he's just relentless Okay, so there we have it. Um, we have, um, let's see. I also wanted to add some of these little word stickers from here. So I was thinking, uh, I was gonna go with love this and enchanted. So. There we go. Enchanted there. And I love this here. There we go. Okay, so we have those things down. Now I pulled, this is just my little bucket when I decide what I'm going to put on my layout and I put it aside. So I'm going to put some wood veneer hearts here. And I'm going to put some over here as well. I just have to decide where before I glue them all down. Do I want this here and this here? So this bit under here. No, it doesn't really. And how about more like that? Yeah. Okay. Or do I want it on this side? No, not really. I didn't really decide this before. I just picked a couple of wood veneer and went with it. I guess I should have messed around with it first, hey? Okay. Okay, well, we'll glue these ones down because they already are where I want them to be. And I might have to fuss with that later. You get the idea. Um, if you stay tuned at the end of this video, there will be, um, what do you call them? A close-up shot and some detail shots as well so you can see all of that. And there we go. Um, for my corners, I did decide to round them and I just used my Creative Memories corner rounder and I have two different corner rounders, this one from Creative Memories and I like it because if you put the paper in the other way, like it can go in this way too, it makes it like a ticket notch kind of corner. Um, but I also really like the close to my heart one is a different angle than this one. So. Maybe I'll go down this way, I think. Yeah, I do like that better. Okay, so that's where that will go. We got some wood veneer hearts on there. Now, I did pull another um, ink, and it was this one, Chipped Sapphire. And the reason I picked it was because, um, if you recall, I was going to use that um, diagonal stripe um, strip along here, but when I put it on, it was too much of this background pinkish color. And I didn't like it. I wanted something with some more definition. So I went with the, I think it was the back side. Let me see. Um, oh, that's not it. Yeah, the back side of this one, which was this navy with floral design on it, because it just really like popped out from there. And it goes with these little like princess hats that are in here. So I felt like it 
it uh, tied in. And then it was a good thing I did that because then when I went to pick my title, I was able to pick this kind of darker blue. Um, so I did pull out the chip sapphire for inking the edges of that um, strip. But now I'm also going to use the chip sapphire to stamp my date, which was, and I think I already set this, January 30th, yep, 2021. And that's going to go just right here. There we go. So I did end up using four different ink colors. I used to ink everything in the color like that matched it. And then I found that that kind of slowed me down. So I do mostly go with a neutral tone unless it doesn't go like, I feel like it takes away from the mood and feel of my layout, which in this case it did. So then I pulled these um, Your Next Stamp Matte Finish Enamel Dots. And they come in all different colors, but this particular pack was purple, pink, and turquoise. Does it have a name? It says Pretty Peacock Turquoise, or no, Pretty Peacock Matte Finish. And I don't recall where I got these from, but Your Next Stamp has their own site. Okay, so I'm just going to put some finishing touches on here, and I think that will be it for today. So I hope everyone is well. I hope you're getting outside and enjoying the sunshine. Summer is here. It's very exciting. I hope you're not getting rained out like we were here. Oh my gosh, there was flooding this week in our town. It was a little un unnerving, but um, hopefully the damage isn't too bad. I know some people's houses were flooding. Some roads were closed. It was kind of weird, but you know, we do live in Canada, so... Sometimes the weather is a little awkward. And then I'm going to put some pink ones down here as well. I think I'll put one. Hmm. For sure one here. And then I was thinking maybe a little one on this bow here. There we go. And then a medium one. Where do I want the medium one? Somewhere around the princess, probably, hey? I don't really want to put it there. There's a little bit of a gap in here, but also... That's my best bet, right there. Okay, so a few finishing touches on there. Um, and I think that is it let's see I have photos a title journaling and a date so I have all the key components to a layout I did not do a visual triangle on this layout which I typically do I did a diagonal design just like it was in the sketch and I will just grab the sketch is it if I can find where I put it oh my gosh it's buried in my papers okay so um, um, Allison, when she designed the sketch, also did a diagonal design. So one set of embellishments up here and one set down here. And like I said, I really wanted this sketch to make things simple for me. So I really did follow it quite carefully. So I did follow all of the measurements that were given to us on the sketch. And I really love that sometimes. Sometimes I don't follow them. Sometimes my layouts look similar to the sketch but not completely like the sketch. In this case I did it just like it is. Uh, the only thing I changed was where the title was and um, I didn't put hearts obviously but and I also Allison does such beautiful stitching and I love how it looks and I love doing it sometimes and sometimes I like to do faux stitching instead but today I just didn't have the ambition for that so we just got some inked edges and I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. So please go and if you haven't already, go check out Allison's sketch support on her blog. I will have it all linked below. I will also link her YouTube channel where you can find the videos, video tutorials, but I think you, there's links for them on the blog as well. And um, her Facebook group where we share our version of her sketches. So I will try to get mine up tomorrow 
it's looking kind of getting like the sun is going down out there so I think I probably won't get pictures taken tonight but I will probably uh, get those up for onto my Instagram tomorrow and into the Facebook group tomorrow and maybe I can post my video tomorrow I don't know it'll depend how long it takes me to edit and you know get it on there so anyways that's it for today thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please click that like button to give me a thumbs up hit the show more button under the video description if you'd like to find links to the, some of the things that we talked about today and if you have any questions or comments I would love it if you would leave them down below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. If you would like to see more of my videos, it would make my day to have you as my subscriber. Just click that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell if you need to be notified when a new video goes up. Have a great day everyone. Bye for now.